Good morning. Mark 11 in verse 22 to 24. Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. For assuredly I say to you, Whoever says to this mountain, Be thou removed and cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore I say to you, Whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Now, very interesting passage of scripture. I talk to Christians about this all the time. They say, well, I've been praying for this my whole life and it didn't happen. Did I doubt? Did I not have faith? Well, there's a couple things you have to remember here in, in reference to prayer. Anything you pray in the will of God for the glory of God God will do it uh, eventually he will do it to glorify Jesus now anything you pray sometimes just for yourself God says in James when you pray you don't receive because you ask amiss you ask outside of the will of God to consume it on your own lust so sometimes we don't receive because we just want stuff for ourselves and e even when we do want stuff for ourselves God still answers a lot of that prayer but then the other issue here is having faith, having faith. So when we pray, sometimes we don't receive, remember number one, because we're outside the will of God and it's just selfish. Sometimes we're in the will of God and we're praying in the will of God and Jesus said, but we can't doubt, we have to believe. Now what does that mean? That means if we're really believing when we're praying, we have to put our feet to the pavement. We can't just pray about something and then not put the gifts that God has given to us and the talents that God has given to us to work. One author said this, be the answer to your prayer. Meaning that as you're praying to the Lord, believing that it's in his will to glorify him, you start putting things in place, you be the answer to your prayer. Sometimes God will answer that prayer from somewhere else and someone else. But we should be doing everything in our power as we're seeking the Lord's heart to make sure that we're not just asking for stuff and praying for stuff for God's glory, that we're willing to be the one to do it also. So whatever God's telling you to do, don't just pray and ask, do. But pray and ask. Pray, ask, but then you start making moves in your life to have faith and not doubt. Make the, whatever changes you need to make, make whatever decisions you need to make to give God the avenue to answer your prayer. May God bless you.